The city of Muskegon now says that pit bulls are not dangerous. That as they update the Sydney ordinance removing the breed from the definition. 13 on your side's Elena Holland joins us now. And Elena, how big of a deal is this? Well, before the change on March 13th, pit bulls were the only breed singled out as dangerous in the city ordinance. But now pit bull advocates say this is a step in the right direction. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to hear this. Lana Carson, director of Pound Buddies, called Muskegon Progressive for removing pit bulls from its dangerous dog ordinance. Focusing on a dangerous dog, it's a behavior. It's not a breed. This is just there was uh, this is just an archaic mindset. City commissioners removed the singled out breed from its animal ordinance. Previously, pit bulls had to be muzzled when walking on a leash outside of its kennel or home. A beware of dog sign needed to be on the owner's home and owners were limited to owning one of the breed. It didn't make sense to me that we were really calling out one breed. City manager Jonathan Seiferth says the change came about in a December work session over chickens. While uh, one of our commissioners was looking at it, um, she noticed the, the the dog part of the ordinance that specifically um, uh, detailed out pit bulls um, and then realized that through that, that she was in violation of the ordinance. Dangerous animals with pit bulls removed are now defined as any dog or cat having a disposition or propensity to attack or bite any person without being provoked. So I think this is a good move um, and I don't see it as a move that really hampers us in any way in keeping the public safe. Pit bulls have had a bad reputation for being aggressive for years. Now they're a very strong, tenacious um, breed, you know, just like a lot of other breeds. I mean, they have their characteristics, but they are so funny. I mean, they are truly a couch potato, a loyal family member. Many other places in Michigan still have pit bulls listed as dangerous in their ordinances. Carson hopes Muskegon starts a trend to remove it. Get with the times and get that breed out of there because it, it's not relevant. So good for city of Muskegon. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.